Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a different video because I haven't seen many YouTubers doing this type of video and it's really interesting to me personally. So this is a video on what TV shows I watch and this is not going to be summaries on them because I feel that you can look that up easily and this is mostly going to be like my opinions on it, what I think about the shows I am watching currently and things like that because as again, as I said earlier, a s summary of the show is kind of easier to look up. So, okay, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. So, one of the shows I watch is Glee. And, uh, I just kind of wrote some notes on my phone about them. So, right now, it's kind of getting repetitive. It's like the fourth season, I believe. Um, it's kind of getting like the same thing happens over and over. But I still like the show and the characters and everything like that. But I do like how they're going to New York and kind of focusing on that a little bit more. And they have amazing voices on the show. They are just so talented. And um, actually, one of the YouTubers I watch who is What the Buck Show, and he does glee caps. So, like, he kind of tells his opinion about that. I will link his channel down below. You should definitely check him out. He's very funny. And the next show I watch currently is Once Upon a Time. And this is kind of just like a show that's a spin-off of fairy tales. And it's telling like different stories and switching what the characters do and their whole story basically. So if you like Disney things or things like that, you should definitely check it out. And it's so creative. I mean, the, whoever makes this show is basically a genius because there are so many ideas they are basically just endless. I mean, they once you think there's not going to be another character, I mean, how many Disney characters are there? And then another new character comes on the show. It's just so amazing. Another show I watch is Grey's Anatomy. And this has gone on so long, I think the ninth season currently. And that is just crazy. That's awesome for TV shows. I mean, most of the time they can't go that far. So that's awesome. The characters are just so lovable. And... Like, you just keep knowing them each season and each episode. You keep getting to know them better. And that's what kind of makes the show for me. I mean, the characters are awesome and so is the drama. The drama, every episode you just want to keep watching. And it's medical, but of course it still goes into depth about the characters. And um, there's drama and it is, of course, hilarious. And another show is... The Biggest Loser. This may seem weird for a younger person like myself. I am 16, but it seems like an, more adults would watch this show, but it, it's just so inspirational and so awesome to watch because you just feel like so motivated by the people on the show and the trainers are just amazing. Currently it's Jillian, Bob, and Dolvet, and they're all so lovable and funny and I love them and it of course teaches you a little bit more about exercising and health and fitness and everything like that so I love that of course and another show I have been catching up on I am not caught up currently so please do not spoil this in the comments um that would really break my heart if you did so please don't I am watching Scandal currently and you definitely need to be a little bit older to watch this because there is like some inappropriate things in there but um, it's kind of like a crime show and dramatic, so that's awesome. And every episode you just want to keep watching. So I was watching on Netflix, which I would highly, highly recommend. Because Netflix, you just keep watching. No commercials, ads, nothing. And you just get to keep watching and watching, which is also bad because it's addicting. But I love it. And then another show I watch is Pretty Little Liars. And... This may seem like, oh, you're just watching it because everyone else watches it. It's like a bandwagon thing for teens. But I'm not watching it because everyone else is watching it. I'm watching it because I really like the show. Even though, I'm going to be honest, the um, people on the show aren't that great at acting. Um, not trying to be rude or anything, but they're just not like, you can't tell. You can tell they're not like as professional. But um, at the end of each episode, it's a cliffhanger. And... Um, it also gives me a little bit of inspiration for like hair, makeup, and outfits. They all have awesome of all of those things. So let me know in the comments if you would like me to do like a inspired look by them or something. 
Um, another show is the Ellen DeGeneres show. And this also may seem like a thing that adults would watch, but it's she's so nice and lovable and generous. And I would love to see her in person, love, love, love. Um, I just love her so much. She's so funny. She's so personable. And I feel like if I were... If I were to be older, I could definitely be friends with her if I was, like, a celebrity or something. But, um, another show is called The Bachelor. And, um, I obviously don't really believe that most of the time the people do not end up with each other. They usually end up breaking up the engagement or getting a divorce or whatever. So, that kind of stinks. But, the drama is just kind of funny and fun to watch and I end up like rooting for some of the girls in it to end up in the current bachelor as Juan Pablo and he's so funny and so cute but I can't really take him seriously <laughs> um and it's probably planned out drama some of it and most of it and it's kind of funny how dramatic it is but I still like to watch it it's very one of the most common reasons I watch a lot of these shows is it has to be entertaining, and The Bachelor is entertaining, so I watch it. <laughs> and Downton Abbey, it's hard to explain, um, kind of when you're trying to explain it, but it's in the early 1900s, currently I think it's in the 1920s or 30s, and um, it's really cool to learn about like the past and everything like that. But it's not really about the history, it's also about the drama too, and the characters are so lovable, and it is kind of almost dry and slow at the beginning, but you get to get into it, at least for me, and you get to know the characters more, and they're just all really cool. And it's very unexpected, some of the things um, that would happen, and it's just really cool to watch. And... Those are all the shows I watch currently, and I can do another video, like, in the spring or summer if you guys would like, so give this a thumbs up or comment down below if you would like that. And <clears throat> here are some of the shows that I heard good things about or that I want to start watching, and a lot of these are on Netflix, so Revenge, which is on Netflix, I've heard great things about, One Tree Hill, which is very long, but I might end up watching it, I heard, I've heard great things about that. Vampire Diaries, I've heard great things about that. That is also on Netflix. Carrie Diaries, I have watched like the first two episodes. It's really good and I might just continue with that. And I need to finish Scandal and I'm also catching up on Keeping Up with the Kardashians. And I know, don't make fun of me for watching it. But um, it's really entertaining and I mean, a lot of people say they hate them and they don't deserve to be famous. But, you know, I have a lot of different beliefs. Before, I was like, they don't deserve to be famous. Why are they getting all this attention and everything? But, you know, during the show, it does really seem like they do work hard to a certain extent. And they are really actually funny and, of course, entertaining, which is why I watch them. So, those are all the TV shows I watch. If you want to recommend any, leave those in the comment section. And I would definitely check out Netflix because it is a great place to watch some of your favorite shows and that is it for today thank you so much for watching bye